Hello friends subscribe to our channel Effective Pharma and press the bell icon for the more updates. We are going to see the Perrin's Jablonski diagram. When the energy is supplied to electron in the form of light, they absorb the energy and reaches to the excited state. In the excited state, the electrons are very unstable and hence they try to get back to the ground state. The process by which they absorb the energy and reaches to the excited state is known as absorption, see in the diagram. And the process by which they get back to the ground state and it is known as relaxation. Now, as per Perrin's Jablonski diagram, there are multiple pathways by which the absorbed molecular energy can be released. The relaxation can be occur in many ways. The process of relaxation mainly occur in the two ways. First is radiative ways and second one is non-radiative way. In the radiative way, it occurs by the two mechanism. First one is fluorescence and second one is phosphorescence. Before we study the mechanism of fluorescence and the phosphorescence, let's see what is singlet state. A state in which all the unpaired electrons have opposite spin. Here, both the unpaired electrons in the ground state have opposite spin, thus it is known as singlet ground state. Now, here the unpaired electron in the ground state have the opposite spin as that of the unpaired electron in the excited state, thus it is also known as singlet excited state. Now, let's see what is triplet state. A state in which unpaired electron have same spin that is unpaired electron in the ground state is having the same spin as that of the unpaired electron in the excited state thus this state is known as triplet state let's have a look on jablonski diagram when uv light is absorbed by an electron they get excited from singlet ground state and reaches to the singlet excited state. Over here, the electrons are very unstable and hence they try to get back to the singlet ground state. This process is occur by the relaxation in many ways. The first way is non radiative transmission. See in the diagram, in which the electron shift very lower electronic level without radiating any radiations. Second way is IC means internal crossing in which there is transition from higher electronic level to the lower electronic level. Third one is fluorescence see in the diagram in which there is transition from the singlet excited state to the singlet ground state. Fourth is intersystem crossing ISC where there is a transition between the two isoenergetic vibrational level having a different spin multiplicities. State during this transition is triplet state and when there is a transition from triplet state to the singlet ground state, it creates phosphorescence. See in the diagram, it is also a radiative relaxation. So this was all about the Jablonski diagram. Now. Let's have a look on the key terms included in the Jablonski diagram. So first one is fluorescence. It is a phenomenon of emission of radiations where there is a transition from singlet excited state to the singlet ground state. That is when transition occur from singlet excited state to the singlet ground state there is emission of radiation. Next fluorescence. It is a phenomenon of emission of radiations when there is a transition from triplet excited state to the singlet ground state. That is, when transition occurred from triplet excited state to the singlet ground state, there is again emission of radiations. Now let's see what is internal conversion. Transitions from higher electronic state to the lower electronic state is called as internal conversion. In this transition, no radiations are emitted. Underline the word no radiations. Next term is intersystem crossing. 
it is a non radiative transition between two isoenergetic vibration level belonging to electronic state of different multiplicities.